BMW is not just a car, it's a part of life. So I'm a huge fan of classic BMWs and just BMWs in general. So as you guys know, I've been posting a lot of BMWs content as well on this channel. And I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna continue introducing like different cars and all that stuff. It's, you know, obviously Mercedes is gonna be my number one, but classic BMWs is also something that we love, appreciate here at Vito's Garage, especially this amazing machine. Say cheese, the happy owner of the BMW E34 right over here. <laughs> amazing. Well, what can I say? We just got this, guys. Just got this amazing machine. Uh, super rare color as well. Super cool car. Here's the engine bay. It's 2.5 liter. It even has a Veno, so the owner told me that they replaced it. And then they did a lot of other work. Has new radiator, new fan clutch, new tensioner. Um, has new starter as well. They, they really loved this car. They put a lot of love to it. Has really nice wheels and uh, the interior is actually in pretty good condition. Um, and everything, stick shift. It's pretty amazing. I have no words. I'm pretty, I'm honestly pretty jealous of you right now. <laughs> Cause the interior is amazing too. Like everything. Um, you look at this car man i mean i have no words it's a cool looking car and e34 i'm kind of jealous now i really like this car especially the color is so rare i don't know how many of these were released but not too many for sure 2.5 all that good stuff it's awesome the owner was actually pretty cool he really took care of this car he did so much work to it pretty insane he actually put the cl new clutch in too he said feels pretty good Ooh, feels amazing that's why we love classic german cars because they're just unique they're different they're not the same like new ones so yeah it takes special people special enthusiasts to really love these cars and take care of them you guys agree good All right, let me hear, let me get that key. I gotta hear this thing running again. All right, Ooh, BMW. Make sure we're in neutral. Wow, what a car, huh? Insane. Well, that's your turn, Scott. Yeah. You're gonna be driving it. That's good. <laughs> nice. Guys, we're actually at a pretty nice place here. Uh, it's in like, what is it, south of Seattle or something? Yeah, south Seattle. It's pretty nice. I love the nature. All right, you ready, young man? Yeah, very, very. Oof. All right, it's your first time driving one of these cars, but you know, just take it slow. Right. It's a good car. A lot of work has been done to it, so that's awesome. They really took care of it. All right, and now, now the first one first is like this, hold the clutch in, 
That's first. Okay. All right. If you want to go to reverse, you press down more like that, okay. and then this way. All right. But reverse, it doesn't take much. Or the first gear doesn't take much. Just look this way, and then that. That's first. All right. And then look, hold the clutch. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Right there. Okay. Try it. See how it works for you. First. Second. Third. Fourth. fourth yep. Fifth. fifth. Just like that. I gotta get used to it. You have to get used to it. I mean, you're coming from a Honda society. No stress, just take your time. Okay, yeah, just drive down that way so you can get comfortable with this car. you're getting it so always remember to start out slow no rush just get used to it yeah like that the clutch goes in so far down oh the pedal yeah yeah it's different it's a it's a bigger car too so Yeah, that's what I told him. Drive around the parking lot. How's it feel? Classic man, huh? Finally growing up. BMW 5 Series. From a Honda Civic to a BMW 5 Series old school. That's crazy. That's how life changes. BMW 5 Series, that's crazy. I cannot believe what Scott got today, but you know, I think it's just thanks to me, one of those things. But yeah, now we just gotta go home. Yeah. Well guys, I have to drive this car because Scott is a little nervous. It's just his first time, so I understand. So I'll be driving this car right now. And uh, we have to stop at the gas station, get some fuel, and go home. Woohoo! Amazing! The alignment is off, but it's okay. Oop, I got a shift. Nah, I'll go back to second. Because it's a steep hill. There you go. Amazing. All right, boys, we just came to the gas station. I'm gonna fill up this amazing machine and drive home, but so far everything is amazing. Amazing E34. Also the valance right here is really nice. I'm honestly loving this car. I'm gonna steal it from Scott. But just look at the con uh, interior and everything. It's so nice. I told him that he's going to have to condition the leather seats and everything so often. So we're going to go get a leather conditioner soon, probably. But man, this thing is amazing. I can't, I can't believe it. Big, classy man filling up the Beamer. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? You just bought this car. I don't know, man. It's like, it's one of your first cars like this, huh? It, it's so different. It's so different. Around the Civic, you know. Yeah. Like, it's like that, that that clutch goes down so far. Like clutch Civic. pedal is different for sure. So like night and day. Yep. But it's forgiving though. Like I, it's super really smooth. Really easy. What's really amazing is they really took care of this car. So it's 
pretty amazing machine. We have to stop somewhere to get the leather conditioner. We can't just leave it like that. We're gonna condition that leather today. Okay. I have no words, guys. I'm just addicted to these classic German cars and I can't do anything about it. And right now I just made my friend buy this BMW. You know, this is what we saw online for sale and we are like, oh, we have to have it. <laughs> so we're about to drive it back, finished refilling it. Should be a pretty sweet, smooth trip. I like that beam beam BMW is so cool. I like that. All right guys, so we're driving on the highway and at the place where we bought the car, we couldn't test drive it at like 60 miles an hour. Right now I'm driving 50 miles an hour, it's fine. But once you get like 60 to 60, the steering wheel starts shaking like crazy. So I don't know, it could be the, the problem with the wheel balance or drive shaft, but you see that? It's, it's kind of bad. You can't really see it, but once we get to speed, yeah, it's gonna be noticeable. Honestly, it feels amazing driving this car. I just want to steal it from this guy. I just want to drive it right now forever. <laughs> I love classic Beamers. They're amazing. So we just hit Seattle traffic right now. It's going to take us a while to get back home. But like I said, driving at this speed, there's no shake. But as soon as you get 60, it shakes like pretty bad. It's a little uncomfortable, but we will have to figure it out. This car is so much fun, guys. Like, you give it a little bit of gas and it goes. Like, it's a pretty fun car, honestly. It's so worth it. Especially in this color, so nice. Super clean and it was well taken care of. But obviously it has some blemishes that we have to fix. One of the power windows isn't working and things like that. But otherwise, I really love this thing. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah. It's about, we have like about a hundred, something, a hundred miles left until we get home. But it's a fun car. All right, guys, you see this steering wheel? Look at this, it's shaking. 60 miles an hour. Sometimes it goes away. But the crazy thing, guys, the crazy thing is the AC is working in this car. We have it like full, almost full blast, but it's working. It's pretty insane. Like cold air we have the windows closed too and everything but uh, yeah the vibration is the biggest concern that we're gonna have to deal with 60 miles an hour and they also did a lot of work like to suspension too so i'm not sure we will have to dig into this and see what's causing it but like i said when you drive lower than 60 miles an hour it's good it's not shaking BMW 5 Series, they mentioning it on the radio. We're famous now. Ooh. All right, guys, so we're just passing Seattle. So much traffic here. That's why I'm not so, like, it's never a lot of fun coming to Seattle, especially at this time, but it is what it is. We have to take this baby back home. But it's a beautiful day today. At least it's not gloomy and not rainy, so it's a lot of fun driving this car. Gotta tell you guys, I'm really happy for Scott. He will have fun with this car. It needs a few more things fixed, but in general, it's a pretty amazing car. And it's a West Coast, United States, zero rust on this car. Pretty awesome condition. So we will preserve this car. We will love this car. I'll help him take care of this and fix it, all that good stuff. Every time I'm filming, you guys are thinking that I'm turning left all the time because of this alignment, huh? <laughs> Well, guys, we're almost home. We just came here so we could take some cool pictures of this amazing beast. <laughs> it's It was really awesome driving this car, even though it's got a vibration and stuff that we will figure out. <laughs> Look at this amazing creature.
creature. The dark green color is so rare as well. I'm loving the wheels. Uh, super classy, super awesome car. And I'm just really drooling over this car. Super happy for my friend. And he is as well. Um, pretty awesome, beautiful day. And it's pretty warm. Carefully and driving this car is so awesome. Like it's my first drive, uh, my, my first day driving an E34. But the thing is that, like, you drive this car and like it's like, especially if you have the right music from the 90s or something, you just like want to go fast. And now I understand the real idea of Georgi Tevsadze doing all this and drifting these cars, and you know because they're pretty awesome. Uh, but this car. Scott will actually uh, take care of it, he will baby it, you know. Um, and then what's really interesting, back to this vibration issue, is that once you go past 60, the vibration kind of goes away, but the vibration is there at like 60 miles an hour. If you go lower or higher than that, like it goes away, which is really interesting. So we will have to dig into it and see why it's like that. But she's driving amazing, so much power. Like I said, so many parts have been replaced on this car by previous owner. He's slowly getting used to this car, which is awesome. He's liking it so far. Guys, we're almost back home. We're gonna go to the store, grab some detailing stuff because we need it. But amazing thing is that it's his first time driving this car, but he's already used to it. He knows how to drive a stick shift and he's actually pretty good at it right now. All right, guys, we're just uh, at the store right now. We made it back home, uh, safe and sound, amazing. We're just grabbing some things for this car, some detailing. Uh, kits so we're gonna detail the interior of this car other than that it's amazing it just needs some love but she's a beauty she's a real beauty so mercedes will always be my number one but like i said i love classic bmws so much uh, they're amazing cars as well they're not the same like the new ones so really amazing cars especially i love this dark green color so rare it's hard to find these cars in this color